Welcome back to the channel. Today we're discussing something I never in my mind thought that I would have to address. I didn't know about it, but it came up on social media, of course, so we're going to talk about it. And that is urine therapy for the skin, the scalp, the hair, inside the body. So let's jump into this and check out the video that started me down this rabbit hole. I'll see you on the other side. This video popped up on social media about a girl using urine therapy inside the body, drinking it, putting it on her skin, blemishes, hair, everything. And let me tell you, immediately, I was like, there's no way this has any merit to it, that it could be good at all. So I did a little dive into the internet, and I want to read you a couple things that I found, and then we're going to watch the video. So the first thing is urine therapy on to Wikipedia. And this is just their headline. Now, I know Wikipedia can have some issues. Urine therapy or urotherapy is alternative medicine in the application of human urine for medicinal or cosmetic purposes, including the drinking of one's own urine and massaging one's skin or gums with the urine. Here's the kicker. No scientific evidence exists to support any beneficial health claims of urine therapy. Is that true? Let's check out the video and then we're gonna talk about a few things. We're gonna watch this once and then I'll probably go through it again, pause it and talk about a few of the claims. Okay, glass spray bottle of fresh urine. Fresh or aged urine for blemishes, wounds, scars. Put it in your drink. Continue adding larger quantities. Okay, so it's a short video, but urine therapy. So first off, here's how to begin with urine therapy is the claim. I'm gonna move forward a little bit. The first claim, fill a glass spray bottle with fresh urine to spray on your scalp and in your hair, plus, love this one the most, spray your entire body before sunbathing. Holy cow, this couldn't be any worse. So why would anybody even get into urine therapy? <laughs> first off, I don't know. But this goes back into the early 1900s and even earlier than that, where in naturopathic circles, somebody named John Armstrong published, you know, evidence, quote unquote, evidence on urine therapy and wrote a whole book about it and claimed that he cured his own ails with a 45 day fast on nothing but urine and tap water. It was probably just like not eating and then drinking tap water that kept him alive. And then people have claimed this and picked it up in natural health circles. So what does urine actually have in it? So when we look at the composition of urine, it has in, you know, the most of it is water. So we're just like 95% water. Then we have things like urea, and this is usually around 9.3 grams per liter. Chloride, 1.87 grams per liter. Sodium, 1.17 grams per liter. Potassium, 0.75 grams per liter and creatine at 0.67 grams per liter. And that's on average, and that can fluctuate a little bit person to person, depending on how hydrated you are um, and what kind of electrolytes or food that you're eating or other waste products that your kidneys might be needing to get rid of. So number one is just water. You can drink that, no problem. You can apply that to your skin, no problem. And then the second most common ingredient is urea. Now we actually do use urea in cosmetic purposes on the skin. So urea is a hygroscopic molecule, and that means it helps to hold onto water. So for my patients, I often tell them if they have like dry, cracked, rough, callus heels on their feet to soak their feet in water and then take urea cream, you know, the stuff that you buy over the counter, not their own urine, and then apply that to the rough heels, put socks on, go to bed. You do that for a week and your heels are gonna soften up significantly. Urea can be used in scalp preparations as well. So there's different anti-dandruff shampoos because urea, in addition to holding on water, it hydrates the top layer of the skin. It is a mild exfoliant. Now, if you get really high concentrations of urea, it can be very irritating to the skin. Now, there's some times where I have recommended to patients to do like a 40% urea cream to really soften up a very thick nail plate. And that can really actually work pretty well. But you're not gonna wanna use your own urine for that. Why not just get a consistently pure, sterile product from the grocery store, from the drugstore, from the, you know, Ulta, wherever it is, and just use that so you know you're getting the same thing every time. Most urea creams, 
and scalp preparations don't have the smell like urine. I don't know why you'd want to spray this stuff on your body or in your hair unless you want to smell like a homeless person. The other ingredients in urine are just common electrolytes, sodium, potassium, chloride. If you want something like that, drink a Gatorade. There's no reason to be drinking your own urine. This is actually incredibly unhealthy and urine is not sterile. You know, it comes out initially sterile, but it's going to quickly be colonized by bacteria as it comes through the urethra. And you're going to be putting something on your skin that one, smells bad, two, has no real medical properties. It's never been proven to be beneficial. Three, you can get a much more pure, consistent, and effective product many places online or in the stores. So there's no reason to use urine at all. The last thing that I do want to mention in her video is that she talks about using urine on blemishes, wounds, scars, and eye drops, and nasal snorting. So again, the only effective thing in urine would be the urea, and that can be a mild exfoliant, so you may notice a little bit of improvement with blemishes, but not from your own urine, maybe from a urea cream. Certainly you should not be putting this into your eyes or into your mouth, you should not be snorting that up your nose. So overall, urine therapy is like two thumbs down. This is a horrible idea. I hope none of you were actually interested in this at all, but please, please don't start urine therapy. Just let your urine go down into the sewer where it belongs and stick to real good skincare products. I'm going to leave in the video description a few urea containing products that I think are effective if you're dealing with rough, dry skin, cracked heels, um, even some hair care products that have urea on them, they'll be in there. And if you have questions about this, let me know. What do you guys think when you saw that video or urine therapy? I want to know what you guys thought. So I'll see you next time on the channel. I can't wait to see you back.